Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes. So I'm taking it you guys are liking the modded series. I have been doing a lot with just making sure that everything kind of falls together real nicely. But uh, there has been some problems, a few here and there. So in this episode, I have added a new mod. And uh, I'll start on that in a minute, but uh, I'm really appreciating the comments that you guys are giving me on the mods for Kerbal Space Program, the ones you would like to see me play. But basically what I'm going to be doing, and I've been working, because every mod, I mean, for most of you guys who you know, you know, for every mod you kind of have to relearn how to, what the stuff is that, that you're adding, so... It's kind of a pain in the butt to figure out a little bit here and there, but overall it's been pretty good. That's all I can say. Now, I have... I really appreciate the new mods and uh, the ones that you guys are telling me about, and I will be adding... I, I, I don't know if I just said this, but I will be adding one new mod at least kind of per episode until... and I'm going to taper off... Or at least, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be per episode, but it's definitely going to be something like, you know, once one every episode or one every couple episodes. But I'll speed up. Here we go. Perfect. Uh, looking beautiful. Just get the little bit of a tilt going. There we go. Looking good. So, yeah, I, I was thinking something around, like, maybe one or two new mods here and there. I don't know when exactly I'm going to be adding each specific mod. But, there we go. Just get rid of that. There we go. Perfect. Explosions. No, uh, I, I plan on adding maybe one or two per episode. So some of you guys might notice, I got this little green thing here. I have added the Keythane mod. Now, the one thing I want to show you guys, let me just get this open to make sure we're on the right heading. Oh, we need to tilt over a lot because I wasn't paying attention. There we go. Perfect was not paying attention at all and this is looking really good perfect so I added the keythane mod and uh, yeah I did a lot of mapping of Kerbin as you guys can see I basically just let this run for I it was like probably about an hour and a half I basically just let it run in the background and you know I was doing all of my my stuffs but I gotta turn this off just because it kind of throws off everything there we go perfect so let's just nose up a little bit. We're not quite high enough. And this takeoff probably wasn't the best, but whatever. So I have decided we are going to Minmus. And I'm going to stick with Minmus at least for now. And uh, I think, you know, honestly, I think we should go to the moon. Yeah, I, I, I changed my mind on that one. The one thing I've wanted to do for a long time is actually build a full-fledged, like, moon base. And, uh, the main problem is, is just that ever since... Wow, that's just working ever so nicely. The one thing I, I want to ask you guys, too, is should I... Because right now my debris is set to zero. Should I turn my debris on? And that was one thing I kind of was thinking about myself just a while ago, but... I'm not 100% certain on whether or not I want to do that because basically right now I have it set to zero. So, I, you know, I, I have lined up these orbits pretty freaking well, as you can see. I, I really tried, but we're going to go to the moon. I, I, I decided that, you know, I, I, hey, whatever. I, I kind of had Minmus planned, but hey, the moon will probably be a lot better. So, uh, Minmus will be probably in the next episode or the next couple episodes. And I really want to get a moon base where we can produce and everything else and we can basically have a very flat terrain to work with, which is why I was thinking Minmus at first, because of the fact of those lake beds and all that stuff where you can just kind of build in those and you really don't have to worry about any kind of bumps or anything where it's you're possibly going to have to deal with just loads and loads of crap. It, it, building on uneven surfaces is a real big pain in the butt. Come on, come on. Let's get this closer. 
There we go. Come on. All right, nose up. Perfect. So this is, I think I was talking about this in one of my episodes, but basically this is kind of a really easy way to get into orbit, is if you know, uh, at least for a more experienced person, I, I would say, uh, you can move your apparatus around before you actually uh, achieve an orbit, and by nosing up or nosing down, that will move it back and forth like this. So what I try to do is I try to keep it right around where the spacecraft is, and uh, then once you actually achieve an orbit, it will just flip, like, instantly. So, uh, you don't even have to really even think about it. Like, just like that. Perfect. So, you can see... It's a fairly stable orbit. It's, uh, you know, there's, what, 5,000... Or 5 kilometer difference between the two, which isn't that bad at all. Uh, to fix that it isn't really that much of a problem. Now let's see. Set the moon as the target, and what's our? All right, that's that's not even bad at all. What I'm going to do, though, uh, one thing, and I'm probably going to do this off camera, is I'm actually probably going to launch some kind of a stabilizing satellite someplace really at the far reaches of the site of influence of Kerbin, in order to that like it, it works really well. When you're trying to get stuff into orbit in between, uh, you know, like, like out in here or near the moon or Minmus or something. And you can kind of use that satellite as a, uh, a base point. So let's, let's see. I'll turn this back on. And you can see I really did a pretty decent mapping. I mean, there are a lot of open spots, but there's not really much you can do about that. I mean, if I sat here for like three hours or four hours and just let this thing map, I'd have the full map. So let's get to the moon. Here we go. Come on. Yep, now we're there. Perfect. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I'm not even going to try. That, that, that seems perfectly fine. The one thing that's kind of a problem with the satellite, though, is um, it, it because it has the SAS on it and it's already highly maneuverable, it kind of gets a little bit... I, I put an SAS unit and the... Uh, well, it's basically got two sets of reaction wheels on it, which kind of cause problems because of the fact that you can't line up fully sometimes. It, it wants to jump around a little bit. So you got to constantly reset the SAS. Not that big of a problem, but whatever. Oh my god, I just got a lot of frame rate issues. So, once again, if you guys know of any mods that you would really like to see me try out, there are, I know, a ton of them. So, it's... Just leave them in the comments. I always read the comments. If I don't respond... Uh, sometimes it's an issue with the Google Plus crap that you guys all know about and hate. Uh, if I don't respond or whatever, I mean, I do read the comments, so if you do post something, I will see it. So that is basically where it comes down to. But let's see what... I think we should be... Yeah, we're pretty good right now. I, I didn't have very high hopes for the satellite. Uh, just kind of flip it over this way. I didn't have high hopes for it, mostly because uh, it was kind of an improvised satellite at the last minute, and I didn't really think that all the stages would work out as well as they did, so. But everything fell together real nicely. So you can see this is our Keythane uh, scanner, and I did put the sat map on there, which I should mention, the sat map for uh, Kerbin is complete. That will be on the last video. If you guys want the map, I'd be more than happy to give it to you. So, I will probably put it in like some kind of a zip file or something and put all the pictures in one big file. So, that, that should work out pretty well. Alright, let's see. We're getting to our last little bit of burn here. So I've been, you know, I'm pretty happy that it's gotten such a good response. Oh, wow, that's not good. I'm surprised that they, uh, can you move this button? Oh, you can't. Oh, wow, 
I was not paying attention. Let's just bring this down a little bit more. I don't want to get too high of an orbit with it because the Keythane, I don't feel like the Keythane mapper will do as well uh, in orbit. But we basically need to get a polar orbit as soon as we possibly can, which is going to be kind of a problem. So, let's see. Uh, huh. I, I think I'm just going to get a, achieve a regular orbit and just turn on everything, and I'll do most of that stuff off camera. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, so almost lost it to time warp. Wow, Th this is looking pretty freaking awesome. I just like the hexagon grid that it puts on the planet. I think that looks really cool looking. I, I can tell with uh, the Keythane, the whole Keythane mod, it just really seems like there was a lot of work put into it, which you can really tell. I mean, I I don't know much about mods at this game, but I mean, I know there are a couple mods in this game that are absolutely just amazing when you look at them and cer with certain things that they add and the the things that they bring to the game it's just amazing stuff there we go all right bring this over just keep it dancing around there that that's perfectly fine now we, we do have a good amount of fuel so I'm not overly concerned so what I'll do is I'll turn on the keythane mapper right now uh, I don't really you don't really need to align the uh, satellite or anything like that to um, to the planet in any kind of way but I usually just do it because I think it just looks better that way so we'll turn on the position there we go and the moon so let's get this going it's not displaying the anomalies but we'll get the scan going uh, that's the one thing I don't think I showed any of you guys when when we set this up initially when I did this video oh my god uh, when I initially did this video I don't think I showed you how to actually turn this stuff on but I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have actually used this stuff before so you're not like um, you know you're questioning exactly what it is I'm doing so Let's see, the Keythane Mapper has already started as well. The one thing I will do is I'll turn on the tone because it does have a tone. I turn it off because it's just annoying. So let's just turn that on. And, and you can see it makes these little beeping sounds every single time it scans any specific portion of the, the map. We got our sat map going, which it really looks like, I mean, we are there are like almost no flat surfaces on the moon that's what it basically looks like to me but yeah this stuff has really added a whole kind of new feature to the game in a, in a lot of ways which I think is really awesome and uh, it definitely has kind of bumped up the gameplay a little bit but I'm really interested in seeing if I could build a moon base with uh, just using what what the game has right now it, along with ooh, there we go put this back perfect I'm really interested to see what a moon base would look like with uh, the keythane stuff on it and everything and building a really massive moon base that, that can uh, produce tons of fuel and just all kinds of stuff it'd be amazing I'm just not quite sure on how I would do it but yeah that's that I am pretty interested in the idea of that stuff so I'm trying to see if we're gonna hit some pay dirt here and then you guys can hear what it sounds like when you find uh, some pay dirt come on is it gonna find anything I, I oh there we go beautiful yeah see I turn it down because of that because that is just Compared to the regular scan noise, that is just incredibly loud. So let's just turn this down. Just disable the scan tone there. And the one thing I will show you guys too is because of the fact that you use time warp, you don't get full scans. That's why I had to wait a long time before I actually had a scan for you guys. It took quite some time to scan Kerbin completely. So anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to 
keep on mapping the moon here. Uh, for those of you who need the map or want the map, it will be in the description. It may not be in the description when this video comes out, but it will be out there. So, anyways, guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come. To all you new people, welcome. And, uh, yeah, I will see you next time.